Uh, first of all, thank you. Um, I have to say that uh, I'm very happy and honored to be invited to such a fantastic and great event today. So to introduce myself and my work, um, I'm living in Switzerland. I am working ma mainly uh, with video, video films, video installation, photographs as well, text and music. So um, the way I work is I, I work um, when I when I start a project, it's like a body of, body of work. So I will spend like between six months and two years with actors working on the project, and the project can take va vari various forms, like uh, a film first and then an installation, photographs. So I used to mix uh, non-actors, people, like my family, my The main topic, I would say, in my work is the relationship uh, between an individual and his or her social en environment, like, um, like the family surrounding or the rebuilt family surrounding, uh, teenager groups. So I really focus on the codes and ritual within these uh, communities. So now to, I wanted to talk a bit more about the work I'm showing here uh, in this museum, in this exhibition. It's called Night for Day. It's, as I said, it's a body of work, including the Fantastic Beam, which is a photo series, and the video you have here uh, in the show, and as well as a video installation. So the F Fantastic Beam is like, three photographs. Basically this work is um, it's, uh, between fiction and documentary. It's a work uh, I made with my own mother. I've, uh, together with my mother we built up a story. So as I said it's between documentary and fiction because it's, uh, I mean, it's my relationship with my mother but it's totally uh, transferred into a fiction story. So everything is written. And it's actually not our um, usual relationship I'm describing. So this is the photo series titled The Fantastic Beam. Sorry for the, the quality of the slides there. It's really crappy. Uh, so this is, I wanted to focus on, on a few scenes in the, in the video that is shown now. So it's the scene, so basically the story, I'm sorry, basically the story in this video is a mother and her daughter trying to build a world of their own and to uh, live close like in a bubble in their, in their apartment. So the first thing in the film is they close all windows and doors and decided to live together alone in this apartment and to feed each other with each other's dream. So it's all kind of rituals and, and, uh, uh, and passing from being awake to sleep and uh, feeding each other with each other's dream. So this is a specific scene uh, I wanted to show, uh, which is very important in the film. It's the mother putting the, the daughter asleep and then she's taking uh, off her shoes and, and starting to bite the, the feet and uh, how you say it, this part of the body and f for me yeah this, this idea was really to transfer something really common which is a mother with a young baby when you have a young baby you just want to kiss the feet and you want to I don't know there is this very uh, touchy thing and then to transfer this very common and very simple gesture to a, a grown-up situation and it was very funny because towards this scene I had, I had two different reactions from people. I have people really, really shocked saying, yeah, it's like uh, incest or it's like cannibalism or, and other people who were really touched by it and, and told me it's amazing because you, you don't have any kids. How can you uh, 
uh, I would love to do this still to my daughter. How could you have this idea as you are not a mother yet? So um, what, this is something quite important in my work, this idea of a very simple gest gesture be being twisted, a very simple um, yeah, idea being, being moved in a different context. So this is another gesture in the, vi in the video where the, the mother and the daughter are in the bathroom and the mother is caressing the daughter's face and the, the daughter is caressing the mother's face. And for me it was really symbolic. It's as if I could feel the face I will have in 30 years and my mother could, could feel the face she had 30 years before. So this was also something really simple but... Uh, that was uh, for me strong to, to do. And this is the last uh, ritual I, I wanted to express on, on this uh, video. It's the, the, daughter, uh, the mother putting the daughter asleep again and making a kind of nest, like with a pillow and stuff. And then putting the red dress on the daughter and, and then taking her shoes and dancing like a swan in the living room. And this, this last scene, when, when she's dancing, is inspired for me from a movie from Casavetes, is The Woman Under the Influence, where Gina Rollins is so amazing, she's dancing in the living room. And so, yeah, for me, the, the work is really the idea to, to, f yeah, to focus on the place and the point of view of the woman and, and her own fantasy. And there is barely no words in, in, in my work. They speak really less because I don't want the words to be a justification to the gesture. I mean, it's their own fantasy. They don't have to justify if it's moral or not. Or if I really want each character to be really specific and, and to live with his own, in his own world and fantasy. So... Uh, this is the video installation based on the film called As Deep As All Sleep, As Fast As Your Heart. And with, when I work on video installation, I really like to create a mental and a fictionist place. So it's really a place when the viewer can really be part of the fiction surrounded by the, the, the video screens. And in this case, we cannot see, but it's really surrounded by uh, very low uh, sofas. And this was really this idea between dream and reality. You never know when it's dream and when it's reality in, in this installation. And also the viewer can have really be really like on the, on the sofa, like also it was like to create a kind of opium chamber, like a place where really they can really relax and there were a lot of pillows all around. And this installation really focused on the different rituals between the mother and the daughter. This is a project I did before with my whole family. Actually, it's the first work I did with my family, and everybody is playing in it. It's really a kind of alien, it's really weird, because it's really a total fiction, but at the same time, because we are so intimate together, it's, it really has, it's like a documentary, so everybody is playing his own part, but it's all written. So it's a family reunion, and like a Sunday, everybody goes to, together to have dinner, and it really focused on the women of the family. And this is one of, I'm very sorry, it's really horrible quality, but it's really a moment, it's my mother and her sister, and they got uh, together in, in, in the room, and it's a very uh, strong scene where they start to kind of massage each other uh, on, on, the, on the clothes, and it was very strong because they, they were like playing as if they were two eight years old girls. Like they are really so close together. And, and then they go to the, to the bathroom and then they wash their hands together. And again, it's a very simple gesture. I mean, everybody is washing hands every day. Or, but to do it together like it's a game or it's like we are, I don't know, can be, I don't want to give any inter interpretation to it, but this, this was also this idea to, to have a, ref, like a, a rethought or rethinking about something really simple and, and to, 
like uh, and that can become a ritual. This is a, a new video I just uh, finished last year, which is called A Place We Call Home. And for this I work with two, it's, they are non-professional actors, it's two women. It's in a cité and the idea of this video is to create a, a territory, uh, physical as well as mental, for the beloved one. So it's really, how can I create sa such a territory? Um, so it's shot in a, in a suburban housing estate. And it's the, just the wandering of two girls. Um, at first in the, in the video, the, one is slamming the, the iron uh, bar of the parking. And it's like a signal. And at the same time, the other one is arriving, she, oh, sorry, she has a metal bar and she's also making this noise. It's like a signal to, to, for each other to get, to get together. And this was incredible building, I don't know, I mean, yeah, it's horrible image, but it's really the, the, all the plants are eating the building, like growing and, and eating the parking lot and it's like a green wall or so. And it's this kind of no man's land or this kind of territory I imagined for the beloved one. So again in the, in the video there is this moment between where you never know if it's between dream and reality and you are really in the mind of those two women. And so it's another moment of the video where they go behind this green wall and under the parking lot. And, and I like this scene very much. They, they are together under this parking lot and one is trying to sing and the other is grabbing uh, the one who is singing the, 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 um, the neck to feel the vibration of the voice. And this was really this idea that the, si the singing of this woman is spread in the suburban area in the city and, and try to be like a metaphorical uh, image for, the, for the, um, this kind of territory for the beloved one. And finally, this is the last work I wanted to tell about. It's a work I just finished. It's, um, it's again with my mother. It's like seven years after the one I'm showing here. And it's a very simple video. It's like a family reunion. It's my, f my mother, my father and I uh, together in the living room. And it's in, in this video, I wanted to present to my mother my own hair. So in this video, she's... She's, um, can we see? She's cutting my hair with a, like a, a cutter or? And my father is taking the hair. And then he's uh, taking, I don't know the name in English, but, uh, and pu putting them back to my mother. And then they do a kind of a dance together. So I wanted to end this uh, talk with that because it's, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's yeah, in between I did a lot of different work with actors and also mixing my mom in, in but in big production with uh, professional or non-professional actors. And this, I just finished this very simple work with her and that is really, again, very close to this one I'm showing now. So I thought it would, could be interesting to show, show it. Okay, I don't know. <laughs>